Hello and welcome back to Differential Equations section 1.6 on Substitution Method and Exact Equations. So, um, two methods in, uh, in one lecture <clears throat> and the chapter is over. This chapter is on first order differential equations, mostly. I mean, all of it is first order. And um, if uh, Calc 3 was a prerequisite, then I would say you already know exact equations. Here is one example and I'm done. <laughs> but the reality is that a lot of you don't have Calc 3, so I will have to teach the whole thing from scratch, obviously, which is fine. Uh, we are going to first deal with substitution method and then um, the exact equations, if we have time, we'll finish them today. If not, then next class um, will be there. I'm going to, again, uh, remind you that um, this is also live on Zoom and it should be better experience because uh, of uh, no delay, voice chat and the music, obviously, the epic music I play along so you should watch it live on zoom the link is in canvas um, to join there what do we have now we have eight people we started with five that's that's great all right um substitution method well everything is in the name you had the u sub for integrals you had trigonometric substitution now we're having a substitution for uh, differential equations, which is where you come up with a function um, that will substitute uh, either function composition or multiple functions uh, combined in whatever way, um, and uh, use that in your differential equation to come up with um, the solution. So. Uh, we are looking at differential equations of the form dy dx is equal to f of x y, right? So that's our standard uh, differential equation, and then we uh, use uh, substitution. People usually use u. You can use v. You can use whatever you want. Um, u equals uh, some function. What they use in the book? They use alpha. <laughs> nice, alpha of x y. So it's a, it's a portion of a, of the problem that you picked, or <clears throat> you understood that that is the part that you have to use. Now um, there is there is no theory here. It's just substitution method. So it's just going to be um, a whole bunch of examples that we are supposed to do. Now, there is a, a one case where you can uh, easily spot it's a substitution method, and that's it when you get uh, um, repeatedly in your problem uh, y over x or, or x over y. Uh, usually that, that um, immediately triggers the, um, this uh, substitution method. So, uh, but before we go into into that one, which is uh, a little bit more writing than than usual. Let me first jump into homework and uh, find some uh, other problem that potentially could be uh, maybe easier to to solve. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't know, I guess. I guess problem one, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do the same examples that are done in a book because you can read those, right? You don't, you don't need the, the middleman, i.e. me. Um, read those on your own. Um, I'm just going to do more examples so you have you know, more to, to learn from. So this is, uh, this is a problem. And uh, clearly, separation of variables doesn't work. Um, integrating factor, yeah, good luck into separating all of this. I mean, possibly you could somehow massage it into the form. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, 
So we're going to make this uh, y prime equal x minus y over x plus y. And now, um, just, uh, you know, keep guessing <laughs> what should be our uh, substitution to try and uh, you know, try and solve the problem. Now, I, I want to try something. Multiply by x minus y. I don't know if this is going to work. But if I do this, I'm going to get x... Uh, no, nah, probably it's not going to work. I'm just going to start with, uh, you know, u equals x plus y. Let's see if this if this works. I don't know if it, it if it will. I just I just want to try it. So if I have u equals uh, x plus y, then um, <clears throat> I know that this will be my my u, right? You see, I have a y prime here, and I have a y here. So solving this for y which is u minus x, and differentiating tells me that y prime is equal to u prime. And that's important because I need to replace that y. See, once we are start doing the substitution, because x is the independent variable, and I'm doing substitution, I don't want to see uh, any y's anymore in the in the problem, x because my my function u will still be the function in respect to x. So I am going to now plug all of these things in. This one goes there. This one goes here. And this red, that one goes there. Let's see what what happens. Again, it's a substitution, so technically every problem you get is just good luck. Y prime is equal to X minus, and my Y is U minus X, divided by U. So maybe, maybe I, I made this into a form now where I can either uh, change it using basic algebra to get separation of variables or to get integrating factor or, or something. So u prime is equal to 2x minus u over u. And the further algebra says 2x over u minus 1. So is this is this better? Can I can I separate the variables over here? Uh, hmm. So if I multiply both sides by u and move the u over it becomes integrating factor. Good. Times u. So it becomes... Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't become integrating factor because when I move u to the other side, I'll have u, u prime, minus u equals 2x. And it's... Still not good. It's plus u. Does that make a difference? Oh, yeah, yeah plus u. So now... Uh, it actually does make a difference. Because I can combine this. This is u times u prime plus u. So this would be... No, it wouldn't. Uh, 
Oh, I picked a great problem to start with. <laughs> uh, that didn't work. Okay, well, we have to pick something else. So this is the issue with your substitution, right? The substitutions are not given, obviously. And with substitution is not given, you have to uh, play the game until you f find out what the uh, substitution is. Okay, so since this didn't work and I was hoping it will. <laughs> um, there is a way over here. So I'm just going to, to do this and set fail because that's what it is. Um, I was trying to avoid this x plus y times y prime. This is still the same problem. And y prime is equal to x minus y, x plus y. Um, what I was trying to avoid is to say, let's divide uh, divide by x and have the y over x situation. Because if you divide by x, then you are going to get this y over x. And I told you that's a special one, which shows up a lot. And... I was trying to find a problem that would avoid that, but I guess all of the problems have it here. I, I literally can't find, uh, looking at the problem, uh, a problem that would clearly have um, different, uh, different substitution. Uh, maybe these ones with square roots would be, would be good candidates, but you still have to divide um, with x. I don't know. Anyway. So what's happening here? Uh, y prime is equal to 1 minus y over x divided by 1 plus y over x. And your clear substitution should be uh, u equals y over x from where y is equal to x, x u. And, oh, did I make that mistake? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> and uh, what you have is a product rule now to find y prime. So to find y prime, you have the, the product rule. So copy the first derivative of the second plus copy the second and derivative of x is, is 1. And uh, we do the same thing we did uh, earlier. We replace uh, y prime with what it's supposed to be. And then this... Um, substitution will actually go into uh, both of these and this should solve the problem so i have uh, x y x u prime plus u equal to over here i have one minus u one plus u okay i think that's Good, right? All the algebra good? We have 1 minus u, 1 plus u, y equal x u to give us prime, prime, prime. Okay. So now, <clears throat> we um, have options. Uh, subtract u, do the common denominator, divide by x, and, you know, just follow the algebra uh, and then see which method would work out to um to use later on so minus u on both sides um, because again we would like to have the variable right in quotation marks which is the unknown function u prime uh, we would like to have that uh singled out so now that i have that i have uh, x um, u prime um, equal to and over here i'm going to say uh over um so I need to, to find the common denominator here. I need uh, 1 plus u and 1 plus u. So that would give me 1 plus u and then 1 minus u minus u plus uh, u One minus u, that's this part, this and then part. minus u, and then minus u squared, right? I think that looks good. Is it? 
1 minus u copy as is, and then that's a minus minus u because it's times 1, and then minus and minus is mi minus and plus is minus u squared. Okay, so that should that should work. That that algebra there should work, and we are getting 1 minus 2u minus u squared divided by 1 plus 1 plus u. Uh, can I factor and cancel? That's the question now. So I have minus u squared minus 2u plus 1. If I factor out the minus sign, it becomes u squared plus u 2u minus 1. And this doesn't factor, right? Because minus 1 and minus 1, uh, minus and plus can never give us 2 over there. Hmm. That doesn't work at all. All right. I make a mis I'm just trying to see if I made any mistakes anywhere. So, move this to the plus down there. That's good. And then divide both sides by x's. You, you lose the x there. That's a 1. That's a 1. That's y over x, y over x. Then you have y over x on this one. Then y is equal to x u because, yep. And then the derivative of y is going to be copy the first derivative of the second plus copy the second derivative of x is 1. Plug that in there. You get your x y uh, x u prime plus u equals to 1 minus u, 1 plus u, and, <clears throat> and that's where we are stuck now. Uh, oh, we can combine now this side on the left using the, the rule into a full derivative of x u and integrate both sides right do you see that I hope you do so that that's probably the way to finish it off as I said every single problem is different in substitution so it's literally good luck every time uh, what I see here oh but the product rule will just bring me back into into x u which well let's try x u prime equals to 1 minus u 1 plus u integral integral and that's gonna be x u equals to integral of 1 minus u over 1 plus u du and then good luck with uh, with that so i think that's where the solution is now to integrate this we split into two integrals this is basic uh, calc one right we have this one minus the integral of u over one plus u du so x u is equal to the first one is clearly ln of uh, 1 plus u and minus uh, the second one is the second integral is a little bit more involved right because we have to uh, oh that's the back substitution <laughs> from calc one really this complicated in the first shot um, <laughs> So you have um, substitution over here of, I don't know, g equals 1 plus u, uh, and then the dg is uh, du. So integral would make now, so u is uh, g, minus, g minus 1 over g dg. The whole thing was negative. Because, it, well, actually, I already put the minus here, so I'm not going to use that minus. And um, this becomes integral of um, uh, 1 minus 1 over g dg. So this is going to be integral of 1 is g. 
and then minus and minus will give me a plus because this minus will distribute. Minus minus will be plus, there will be ln g, and then there will be a plus c for, for all of the integration. So now I have x, no, not xy, xu, xu, no y's, xu, xu, there we go, is ln 1 plus u, this should be a nice u, uh, oh, substitute, uh, eh, let's substitute g's first, so g is 1 plus u, so minus 1 plus u plus ln of um, 1 plus u or u plus 1 plus c, and now uh, substitute for each u y over x. So x times y over x is equal to ln 1 plus y over x minus 1 plus y over x plus ln of absolute value of 1 plus y over x plus c. Now, we can simplify, right, because clearly this term and this term are the same term, so we can put those together. X is cancel here, so y equals uh, 2 ln of 1 plus y over x uh, minus 1 minus y over x plus c. And uh, this is actually explicit solution. We did not get, you know, function. Uh, this still can be plotted as a curve and uh, um, uh, used because, again, if you have this function, it's x squared. But if you have this function, it's x squared plus y squared equals to r, r squared. And what is the formula for this function? It's not a function, I mean curve, right? Might be this. Okay, so implicit solutions will give us those curves that are not functions in the terms of uh, one x value produces one y value. So this curve could be could be plotted. Cool. So you saw me uh, try a problem, uh, fail miserably, then try again, get stuck for some time. And then see the see the light at the end of the tunnel, and then go through. And that's me doing the problem number one in this section, after dealing with this stuff for you know 15 years. <laughs> so, so guys, it's a lot of practice, and uh, all the problems that I'm technically seeing over here looks like have this uh, this thing of y divided by by x as a substitution. So. Uh, let's try another problem. Um, again, I'm hoping just that you will open up the book and read uh, examples that are also done in the book because there are all the steps are there. Just, you know, try to work it out alongside of the book. And then go back and, and rewind uh, this uh, <laughs> misery of the lecture a couple of times to practice more. Let's go. 10. X, Y, Y prime is equal to X squared plus 3y squared. Like, I still don't know in which way I'm going to regret this problem. So, I just picked random. Yeah. Um, obviously, we have to divide xy because the setup for this problem is y prime equals to function of x and y, right? So y prime must be alone. y prime needs to be alone. This has to go, right? So our step has to be dividing both sides by, by x, y um, to get y, y prime alone. So now y prime is alone. And on the other side, when I divide this, I get x over y plus 3y over x. <laughs> Great. So now, uh, do you pick this to be your substitution or that, right? And it's uh, trial and error. This is why you have all the time in this world, right? 
as a student to sit down and figure these things out. Uh, U equals Y over X because, you know, why not? And uh, Y is equal to, to uh, uh, UX. And the Y prime is equal to copy the first derivative of the second plus uh, copy the second derivative of the first. Which is the same thing that I had, the same uh, substitution that I used in a previous uh, example, previous problem. So now, um, it's going to be on the left-hand side, uh, u plus x u prime. And on the right-hand side, this is 1 over u, right? Because if u is y over x, then x over y must be 1 over u, uh, plus 3u. And um, in this situation, we subtract the u from the, from the left uh, over here on the pile and see what we get. We get x u prime is equal to 1 over u plus 2u. So we use the substitution now to at least get rid of these fractions, right? The radical, uh, radical stuff. Yeah, I do have one over u, but it's it's not having x over y and y over x, you know, at the same time. So two variables now, uh, u and uh, x. X is our independent variable here. Uh, u is a function of x. And um, now we try and figure out uh, uh, what to do. <clears throat> mm. Is there a cool... thing like so let's let's try this separation of variables uh, I'm going to say that uh, x times du over dx is equal to 1 over u plus 2u so that's a separation of variables uh, I am going to say du divided by 1 over u plus 2u is equal to 1 over x dx, and then integrate both sides. Now, we're going to multiply top and bottom over here by u. So we're going to get integral of u du divided by 1 plus u square. And on the other side, we just have ln absolute x plus c. And, uh, okay, so this end up, ended up being a very easy problem. <laughs> so we're, we're lucky here. Um, what you can do now on the right-hand side is uh, just use the basic u sub. I mean, in this case, g sub or whatever. Um, some of you probably said, oh, trig sub. You can use trig sub as well. You like pain, it's okay. Um, you do have a u and a u square, which means that you can use a basic basic substitution. So uh, g equals 1 plus u square. Uh, dg will be 2u du. I need a 2 and a half in front uh, to fix this. And... Um, I have one half integral of uh, dg over g equal to ln absolute x plus c. So that's ln g, so one half ln absolute g, which is one plus u squared, uh, equal to ln x plus c. And uh, multiplying entire equation by 2 gives me ln of 1 plus, and uh, what was u? Was y over x, right? Yeah, y over x. Okay. So y over x squared. 
Uh, at this point, we don't need actually absolute values because uh, y over x squared is always positive, plus 1 is always positive, so it's in the domain of ln. You always need, well, you only need it even here because, again, 1 plus u squared is always positive. Uh, but you absolutely must have it here because x could be also negative 3 and then the whole thing goes bad. So 2 ln absolute x. And here is the C absorbing the 2 I'm, I'm multiplying by. So deal with that. Uh, this, um, in some sense, I, I have no clue if my MATLAB would, uh, would take this as the answer. Because you, you can do better than this. I am going to because, obviously, I'm the boss, right? But... Uh, this is technically a solution, and now we can massage it with algebra just to, to make it nicer, flashy, right? So I'll go with ln of uh, 1 plus y over x squared. And then on the other side, I have ln of x squared, and then there is a plus c on the side. And then I e both sides. So 1 plus y over x squared is equal to, remember that uh, we are using x to the m times x to the n is x to the m plus n. So you have that addition here. And uh, uh, that e to the c, we can call, I don't know, capital K. So this is going to be capital K. Uh, and then E and LN will cancel. Because this would break into E to the LN X square uh, times E to the C. So E to the C is K, and LN and E cancel just gives you X squared. So you see that this equation becomes much nicer. Maybe I should leave this step in. So, um, we can do just a little bit better. This is still has this still has y, y squared. You, you're not going to make this a function. It has a y squared in it. But you can, you know, make it y squared over x squared equals to kx squared minus 1, right? And then you can say y squared is equal to kx to the fourth minus uh, x squared, right? So <clears throat> that's a nicer uh, solution. And if I had the initial point, uh, this would be the time to plug in and calculate this constant k. Uh, you could have done that at any point prior to this, right? But usually we simplify as much as we can. Then we, in terms of algebra, then we plug in x and y to calculate c or, or k in this case. And then um, we would have the particular. But they didn't give us anything in problem. I believe 20, I said, or whichever one we did. 10? We did 10. So that's the, that's the end of this example. You know, we're, we're done. Um, so they, they give you 30 exercises. And most of them... Uh, look like are the same kind of deal. Um, these problems with uh, with square roots. Um, what do we have? We have two minutes. You know what? Even though we only have two minutes, I'm still going to start this, and my hope is that you will continue uh, working on this at home. And uh, next class, I am going to start the class on Zoom to work uh, out the Newton's law of cooling that you were supposed to do for homework in addition to the my MATLAB. And then this problem as well, because I can't really start the stream on, on YouTube with a title, you know, 2.1, and then have uh, 
you know the lecture 2.1 start with random problems from chapter one so i'm going to solve those problems on zoom and um, you know always connect to zoom and then if you want to be on youtube parallel to this you you can uh, let's take a look at problem 14 at least to start it off and then you finish it off on your own at home um, it's this uh, equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So, yeah, it looks terrible enough uh, at this point. Uh, it's pretty much the same um, story all the time. Get y prime alone with whatever witchcraft, you know, with algebra you can, you can pull off. So that's, that's going to be a minus x first on both sides. And you're going to have your y, y prime equal to square root of x squared plus y squared minus x. And then we're going to divide both sides by y. And there's your x over y or y over x, right? Peaking in. So we have a y prime equal to square root of, and now when this y goes under the square root, it picks up the square. So you have x over y squared plus 1, minus x over y. And it should be obvious, or maybe it's not. So I'm going to just, since the class is, is over, that, that, that we ran out of time, uh, I'm going to offer you two substitutions, u equals x over y, or x over y squared plus 1 so see if you can solve the problem with either of the with either of the two um, you try uh, obviously try the top one first and don't forget to uh, since you need y prime right your your y now is not going to be the product rule it's going to be caution rule because when y goes there, it's going to be x over u. So y prime is now the quotient rule. And, um, you know, you, you do the quotient rule, you plug everything in, and then you follow algebra from there, see if you can use separation variables or integrating factor to solve the problem. None of those problems, none of these problems are trivial. They will take long time, and this is the time for you to realize that if it is, uh, you know, if you think it's, it's hard and, and, and terrible, um, realize that it's supposed to be hard and, and, and terrible. Otherwise, everyone would be doing it and it wouldn't be any special and, and give any of the sciences. And right. So. Practice, 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 and then uh, join office hours if you have questions. I'll have them tonight and then tomorrow midday and Saturday after class. So. Uh, the link is on Zoom in announcements. Um, the, sorry, the office hours are on Zoom, and the link for Zoom is in Canvas in announcements. So um, go to announcements, click on office hours title, expand it, and then if the links are not clickable, cut and paste in a browser. See you all soon. Bye.